Uh, good morning and yours truly, Dolphy Alexander Gilpin is here with you this morning once again. 1524 La Vista Drive, Decatur, Georgia. I'm on the second floor and in the closet of the second floor. And I'm here with the amazing 5x12 matrix and its application in confined spaces. Now analogous are synonymous to aircraft uh, pilots, commercial aircraft pilots and uh, uh, astronauts and rockets and spaceships having to work in confined spaces. Example, the cabin. Uh, it's a closed off space where you have your ear lungs and you sit there for a long time, five hours, sometimes ten hours, uh, working uh, and maneuvering the aircraft. Similarly, uh, astronauts uh, stay in confined spaces to, to work in space. I'm in the closet here this morning applying uh, the amazing 5 by 12 matrix to some aircraft problem. And we did that yesterday with our uh, P win and P stability and P body. Here we are this morning. And we see now we're going to be on the, the aircraft is often trim as the angle of attack alpha equals W naught over that. So first let's just write that we are applying the AMZ 5 cross 12 matrix to confined spaces. My penis has uh, been very and so we are trimming the European and we say that the angle of attack alpha is equal to now the vertical velocity over the longitudinal velocity. And is equal to zero. That's trimming the airplane. And this implies that the yaw rate can be expressed as now the yaw rate can be expressed as now r is equal now to g over the longitudinal velocity initial sine of alpha, which is the angle of attack. And that's approximately now equal to g over longitudinal velocity initial times phi. Now uh, from 